friends. So I just went shopping. So I wanted to show you what I got. Um, so let's get right into it. So um, first of all, I'll just say that I did purchase all of these supplies at beauty supply stores. Uh, and you do have to be a professional to shop there. So you either have to be um, an esthetician, um, a medical esthetician, a hairdresser, a nail technician, um, any kind of, you have to be related to the beauty industry in some way. I'm pretty sure makeup artists can shop there. Um, as long as your job is in the beauty industry, you can shop at a beauty supply store. So that's what I did. So I'm going to show you what I got. So the first thing that I got is, this is the Hot Tools, um, and it is called the Curly Q, and I got it in the one and a quarter inch, and this I love. I already used it, so this is the barrel, it has different heat settings, so you can kind of turn it up as high or low as you want. Um, personally, I love Hot Tools. They come comes with a one year care or a one year warranty, um, but these things just don't die. They're amazing. I love you, Hot Tools, and they're not as as, as expensive as say the the Salt Salta Salta. You know the Salta brand. Anyways, um, they're not overly expensive, um, which is nice. So this is what I did to make. This, um, they do come in different sizes. I got the biggest size because I do prefer more of a loose curl. Um, so yeah, loving this. Love, love, love it. The other thing I got, this is the Red Kin um, hairspray, and it's in 23, which is uh, the strongest hold. So. Um, especially when you're doing curls, um, waves, you want, I personally like to have a stronger hold. Um, how Redken works is actually, they do theirs by numbers, so um, it actually says on the back of each Redken bottle if it has a number. So 0, or sorry, 1 to 5 is mild control, 6 to 15 is medium control, and then 16 to 26 is maximum control. So. I got 23, so I'm in the maximum control, but this, love. And the cute thing about buying that is it came with a little travel size. So it came like this. So when I go traveling, perfect. More reason to go on a vacation. Okay. Ooh, another thing that I was super excited about because I've heard amazing things. This is the Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Dry Shampoo. Um, it does come out clear, so how I use this is I actually kind of give, just give it a shake, um, move my hairline over, spray it, and then move it back, and kind of just ruffle it with my fingers. It is very, let's get my hair, it is very volumizing, like holy cow. It's not the kind of thing that you'd want to take a brush and brush it out, because then you'd lose the volume, but if you just kind of spray it, kind of just tussle it with your fingers like that, you're good to go. Um, it's I wouldn't recommend it for kind of like, say if you're wearing your hair straight and you want it to be very flexible and moving around, um, for that I would recommend the Batiste. So this, really good for um, volume, Batiste, really good if you want more of like a flexible kind of finish to your hair. Uh, the next thing that I got is the Redken Wool Shake, and this is a gel slash texturizer. This stuff is so cool, I can't even explain how cool it is. I naturally have wavy hair, so when I do my hair, really, I kind of leave the natural waves and then just kind of wave around where it still needs some wave. Uh, so this is awesome when I want my hair to be really big, it's gone kind of flat or whatnot, or I just want to create lots of volume. This is my go-to. I love it. Um, and it does give your hair a wooly texture. It's the craziest thing. It's so cool. So I got that. Oh, I got... This is the AG Silver Toning Shampoo. 
Um, currently, I'm using the Joyco one, but one of my girlfriends recommended this one over it. So, it's just a very purple shampoo. So, got that. Um, oh, I got... I've actually never heard of this brand. It's called Sen Science. And this is just a deep conditioning mask, and it's Inner Restore Intensify Deep Repairing Mask. So I'm really excited to try this because my hair has been a little bit damaged lately. Mmm, it smells so good. The girl at the Beauty Spy Store actually recommended this to me. I've never even heard of this brand, but apparently it's created by Shiseido. So I'm surprised it's not more popular. Um, or maybe it is and I just don't know about it. So she said that this is her favorite um, deep conditioner. Um, I've tried so many deep conditioners, countless ones. I've tried the Moroccan oil, I've tried um, the BC Bonicure one, I've tried the Lazen one, I've tried macadamia oil, I've tried everything. And nothing has really wowed me. So I'm really hoping that this will wow me. But I'll get back to you on that. And then last, but not least, I got... The Moroccan Oil, the Shine Spray, Glimmer Shine Spray for all hair types. This, just to get my hair a nice finish, um, really cute. Oops, so I'll just give it a little shine. My hair, mmm, I love the smell of Moroccan Oil. It smells so good. So that smells so good, so I just kind of sprayed a little bit in my hair just to give it, you know, some shiny and glossy kind of texture. Um, but that completes my beauty supply hair haul. I've been all about hair recently. I need to start taking care of my hair. I really want it to grow just a little bit longer, which I typically, once I get to a certain length, it's hard for me to keep growing it because I find that I keep damaging my hair and then I have to cut it off and then it will grow back to where it was previously, but I just can't seem to get ahead. So, um, hopefully, I'm going to stop washing my hair every day. I'm going to try and switch. Right now I'm on every other day, so now I'm going to try and do every third day and just kind of see how it goes. But anyways, that's enough rambling on. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe and have a good day. Oh, also, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. Okay, bye. Oh, Rue wants to say hello. She always wants to say hello. Rue, Rue, Rue. This is Rue. She's my little, she's a Pomeranian puppy, puppy. She's currently five months old. And I love her.